capacitor. So we are going to now see what is the effect of coupling capacitor on the low frequency response. So when you use coupling capacitor, I told you, you have to short circuit the bypass capacitor. So in the emitter side, you see, you will not have RE and CE. So it is short circuited. And input side, you see, you have coupling capacitor CC. So I'm going to consider the CC at the input side. Emitter side, you see, I am high, my, and this RE parallel to CE is short circuited. So directly you will have emitter connected to ground. Other connections are same. This is the biasing voltage divided by bias resistance. This is the input impedance of your uh, common emitter amplifier, HFVIB, and this is the RL, and I'm going to measure V0 across RL. So in the common emitter amplifier, you see, we are going to study the effect of coupling capacitor on the low frequency response. So it is assumed that the CE is large enough, so the CE parallel to RE, that will be short circuited and it will not come in your circuit. The so RE is effectively bypassed and the simplified diagram is shown for you. Whatever you are seeing on the screen is the simplified diagram for uh, simplified diagram for the effect of studying the effect of coupling capacitance on the low frequency response of a amplifier. You can see that uh, R1 parallel to RC is because of voltage divided by us and RI is the input resistance, input impedance of your amplifier. It is uh, the circuit has become very very simple because uh, we don't have RE parallel to CE. So in the mid frequency range, the reactance of CC is negligible. So the uh, so the frequency the cutoff frequency is given by F1 equal to one by two pi RS plus RA dash into CC. So you know whenever you have an RC combination, you will have a frequency. So that is general formula is one by two pi RC. But here CC is one capacitance, but uh, resistance you see, you have R1 parallel to R2 and you have RI. R1 parallel to R2 and it's again parallel with RI. The entire thing is in series with RS. Okay, That is why they have given RS plus RI dash, where RI dash equal to R1 parallel to R2 parallel to RI. Here in the diagram, RI is going to be HIE because you don't have any emitter resistance. If you have emitter resistance, then RI will be equal to HIE plus 1 plus HFE into RC. The two, two possible values of RI is given. If there is no, if you don't consider C, if you consider CC short circuited, then RI will be equal to HIE because in emitter side, you don't have any other resistance connected. If that capacitor's bypass capacitance is not short circuited, then RI value will be HIE plus 1 plus HFE into RCE. So, this uh, coupling capacitor also, you see, it is going to lower the uh, uh, low frequency response of the amplifier. So, for uh, having a very good response, general thing is the CC value should be larger. CC value should be larger and CE value should be larger for you to have a low 3 dB lower cutoff frequency. So while designing capa while designing the amplifiers, you should ensure that these two capacitors, the coupling capacitance and the bypass capacitance values are considered significantly to reduce the lower cutoff, lower 3 dB cutoff frequency of your amplifier. Okay, so this effect of CC is very simple because uh, the emitter is directly grounded, so we don't have any mathematical calculation. Just we are observing the input side. You have R1 parallel to R2 parallel to RI, that is in series with RS. So the frequency is given by F1 equal to 1 by 2 pi into RS plus RI dash into CC. And RI dash is parallel combination of all the resistance. Usually RI will be equal to HIE if the bypass capacitor is short circuited. If the bypass capacitor is not short circuited, then RI will be equal to HIE plus 1 plus HFE into RCE. So you have to consider the effect of the capacitance also. Okay, so this is another topic where we study that even coupling capacitance has influence on the lower 3 dB cutoff frequency of the common emitter amplifier. Okay, any queries on this topic? Are things clear? Please respond. Are you finding uh, these topics simple? Students, you are uh, there in the class. Yes, 